Are you currently feeling lost in life? Trust me, I've been there. There's that overwhelming pressure to have it all figured out, but nothing really seems to be making sense. Let's explore what's really causing that feeling. Hi everyone, my name is Liddy. I'm a UK doctor and on this channel, my friend Hazal and I share insights on all things productivity, adulthood and self-development. When it comes to this topic of feeling lost, one of the things that I want to analyze is this concept of purpose and how while it can be a driving factor for some, it can also be a source of anxiety for many. Often we're sold this idea that purpose is a fixed destination, a single point that we need to reach. But what if purpose is more fluid than that? Is it this focal point or is it an intangible season that we live through? Do we reach our purpose or do we live out our purpose? Do you genuinely know what you mean when you say, I'm so sad, I feel lost and I can't seem to find my purpose? Well, for me, when I've seen people say this or even when I've felt this way myself, if I had to articulate articulate the source of that struggle, I'd probably refer to it as not knowing what I need to be doing in life in that given moment or even what I'm working towards. This accumulates lots of things like career, motivation, ambition, impact and really and truly pondering on this so often can borderline lead to an identity crisis. I know that it definitely has for me at times. One thing that helps me to confront the stress and sometimes unnecessary emphasis on purpose is reflected on the different stages of my life and renewing my perspective to see purpose as this fluid thing that may not always look the same in every season, every year, or even every decade of my life. If you keep associating purpose or knowing what you want from life with a physical destination or an accolade, you can find yourself feeling very disappointed when you finally reach that end goal. For example, if I thought for the past 23 years that my sole purpose in life was to become a doctor, I think that I'd be in a situation right now as someone who has just graduate from medical school where I feel very disillusioned and maybe anticlimactic because one thing that I've come to realize is that my purpose was within the journey itself. During the journey of becoming a doctor and training up to this point where I followed certain interests, pursued certain opportunities and even committed to my academic development, I was living up my purpose for that period of time as a university student who also happened to commit to different activities. Now that I'm a full-time doctor with different responsibilities different commitments and a different reality my purpose will naturally or intentionally adapt to a certain point and that's okay because I view purpose as this fluid thing that beautifully changes with each new chapter of life that you go into so don't just limit yourself to seeing purpose as this black and white thing is it an occasion is it an achievement purpose can be found in how you live each day the values you cherish and even the impact you make on a wider scale or a smaller scale with those in your direct vicinity or your loved ones so by perhaps confronting this misconception that you may have of purpose or your understanding of it, that could be one of the things that helps you overcome this massive burden of feeling lost. And I guess as a 20 something year old in the West, we can't talk about purpose and our interpretation of the term being a catalyst for feeling lost without mentioning societal pressure. We face immense pressure to define our lives by a set of milestones and society expects us to have answers to very important life decisions at a very young age. In the next 10 years of your life, you're probably focusing on education and finishing up university for some of us. And now that I'm 23, you're asking me, when am I going to be financially free? When are you going to get married? When are you going to have kids? Are you going to do your masters? But in reality, no one really has their life figured out. And this pressure can really lead us into making hasty decisions that simply don't align with our true self. And if there's anything I want you to take away from this video is that it's perfectly okay to not have the answers to your big why. It's also perfectly okay to not have a rigid timeline on how you want your life to play out. We don't really have control over that. We have control over our intentionality, but how things will go and what age or month or season we will check this off is not always feasible. Things change and you change. So give yourself that grace to be flexible where flexibility is required. If we spend too much time worrying and obsessing about preset milestones, we end up allowing life to pass us by without even realizing it. And one thing that can maybe help you overcome any societal pressures that you may be feeling at the moment that is contributes to you feeling low is instead of striving for external validation or perfectionism, try to strive for authenticity. Make decisions that align with who you are and what feels right for you, not what society expects from you. Purpose is a lifelong journey of discovery and growth. It's not a one-time achievement. And while this may mean lots of 
uncertainty for you, you need to give yourself the space to evolve and grow. And that's not possible if you're continuously restricting yourself with societal standards. It's easy to sit here and say, embrace uncertainty, but let's be so for real. Uncertainty is scary. Fear of the unknown can be scary, but I think that regret is scarier. And if I am pressured to make certain decisions about my future and end up regretting it, that will frustrate me more than temporary uncertainty. I once heard someone say, if we don't allow ourselves to feel scared, we will never do anything revolutionary. So stop allowing people to decide timelines for your own life, how behind you are in life, or how long you have left to do X, Y, and Z. It's all perception-based. Sometimes you can become so immobile by all these voices and expectations that subsequently drive you to feeling even more lost and confused. So stop being bullied by society's deadline on your life. Life isn't linear and there is no fixed deadline on when you are meant to achieve certain things. And I think while we're on the topic of achievement, another thing that could be putting you in this space of feeling lost in life is your relationship with success. We tend to associate feeling lost with failure, which for most of us refers to living in the midst of an outcome that you didn't expect or a reality that you didn't want. We think to ourselves, I'm not where I want to be, so I must be doing something wrong. But there's definitely a time and a place to challenge that narrative. There are times where things won't go according to plan, but sometimes these self-proclaimed failures actually open doors for you that never existed and can actually lead you onto bigger blessings. The phrase that rejection is redirection is no joke. And if you want me to be honest, failing at something doesn't necessarily mean you are lost. It can often mean that you're simply learning. And at times the biggest life lessons come from moments where things didn't necessarily go as expected. If anything, failure can also be used as a tool for discovery. I remember going through a mini midlife crisis in third year when I had failed my final year exam and had other personal things going on at the time that really put me in the lowest place that I'd ever found myself. But I genuinely wouldn't ever take that season in my life back because it was being at that rock bottom that helps me restructure my relationship with failure, helps me detach my identity from academic validation and accolade, and instead helped me center it around values more important to me, like my faith. Coming out of that season with resilience did wonders for my mental health, my self-love, my confidence, and my outlook on life. Your success is a function of your ability to endure rejection. And whether you like it or not, a part of evolution does look like failure. Each new experience, whether positive or negative, adds to our understanding of this thing called purpose and what we're meant to be doing with our lives. Purpose is important, but don't allow that to be the thing that holds you back, that prevents you from exploring. Change your mind, ponder and reflect. Take every day day by day. Every roll of the dice is a potential win, so take the chance. Feeling lost doesn't necessarily mean that you are off track, it could mean that you are just in a phase of exploration. So allow your life trajectory wherever you are right now, whether it's your definition of success, whether it's your definition of a failure, what you enjoy doing, what you don't enjoy doing, allow it to inform your next step. You don't have to see the whole staircase to take the next step. So keep checking in with your values on whether the daily decisions you're making are bringing you joy and fulfillment. And if you don't really know what your values are, follow what makes you curious. Do that internal work to figure out more about yourself. You can explore new hobbies, try a different career paths, learn something new. Each step you take brings you closer to understanding what brings you fulfillment and what you can be committing your time to in this period of time. So regarding actionable tips to get you out of this rut of feeling lost and stuck, the first step is definitely self-awareness. This is an example of a self-awareness diagram that can be really useful for young professional like me trying to figure out your next steps in your career or industry or equally even if it's not career related you can definitely still use the general framework of this to apply to different areas of your life by referring to this diagram ask yourself what are my strengths what am I passionate about and what are my top values use this reflection to really help steer your next direction reflections like this can really get you thinking about what you want in life not just what you've been told you want but what you genuinely want in life and this is thinking that should hopefully be productive 
rather than panicky. And then from this, you need to start with what's in front of you. Sometimes the best option for us is the one that's within reach. It may not be the perfect step, but it's a step forward. That could look like going back into education, exploring a new career or industry, spending some time volunteering abroad. And while you do said reflecting and pondering, I want you to keep these three things in mind. Number one is to be patient with yourself. If you're currently feeling lost and you really want to come out of this space, understand that real change takes time. Give yourself the opportunity to really figure things out without the pressure of immediate result. Progress is progress no matter how slow. Number two is to make space for reflection. Take time each week to reflect on where you are and how you're feeling. Instead of feeling stuck in the endless pursuits of answers, sometimes the best way to navigate feeling lost is by reconnecting with ourselves and focusing on the immediate present. This is definitely something that helps me when I'm feeling like this. I just feel like when you're grounded and in reality, you go outside and you touch some grabs it can really help clear your mind reduce the panic and the anxiety that comes with this feeling and just start to renew your understanding of what's going on around you and what you might want to do in the next few steps to get yourself back on track back into discovery, back into exploration, back into something that will bring you fulfillment and happiness. And the third thing is to surround yourself with support. Don't underestimate the importance of community. Don't underestimate the power of a good support system. Whether it's friends, family, mentors, or an online community, having people who encourage you and understand your journey is so invaluable. If you're looking for more insights on personal growth and self-development, check out this video here on what they don't tell you about your 20s. Let me know what I should make video on next thank you so much for watching and i'll be sure to see you in a new video soon bye